welcome to the Everything Art! And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little ornament. So this is how it looks. It's very small, very cute, and it would go perfect on your tree. So let's get right into it. So the supplies you'll be needing is yarn. I'm going to be using white yarn and the sparkly um, red yarn. You're gonna need a crochet hook. I am gonna be using the 4.5 millimeter. And you're gonna want a stitch, what is it called? And you're gonna want a stitch, stitch, oh my gosh. Six hours later. You're gonna wanna want, no, want, oh my goodness, I can't talk. You're gonna want a stitch marker and a needle if you do not have a needle you can use a crochet hook i'll show you at the end so let's get right into making the ornament so for my ornament i'm going to have this all be red in the middle white and then up here will be red too so first we are going to start with a magic ring If you're a beginner and you don't know how to crochet, the link to my video on how to crochet for beginners is in the description below. So now you're going to single crochet six times inside the magic ring. So now you just want to close the magic ring. Put your stitch marker in and we will be doing an increasing round. For the increasing round, you want to do an increase in each stitch. So at the end, you have 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to do an increase and a single crochet. You're going to be doing that all the way around. So for the next round, we're going to do an increase and two single crochets all the way around. So now you're going to single crochet for the next two rounds. And I will be back here when I'm done and you may pause the video to finish up. All right, so I'm done with the two rounds of single crochet. And now we are going to change to white. You don't have to change, you could keep doing red, but I am going to do white. So how are we gonna do this is we're gonna do a slip stitch right in that same stitch you just finished with. Chain one. I forgot to mention you do need scissors, so I'll be right back. You also need stuffing too, I'm sorry. And that's for the end when we're filling it up. You just did a slip stitch and a chain one. So now we're just gonna cut it off. It doesn't have to be a long tail, it can be short. And just pull it through. Oh boy. I'm gonna grab my white yarn now and just do a slip stitch. So now you're gonna put your hook through the stitch that you just knotted and do a slip stitch. You're gonna single crochet all the way around for the next two rounds. And I am crocheting in my two little tails. You don't have to, you can cut them at the end, but I am just gonna crochet them in. So 
so now I'm going to change colors again. So we're just going to slip stitch and chain one in the stitch that you just finished in. Cut off a little tail. Pull it. And now you have a knot. For the next two rounds, just single crochet all the way around. So now you're going to decrease. And do two single crochets. Just like that, all the way around. After you're done with that row, you're going to do a decrease and single crochet one all the way around. So at this point, you want to start stuffing it. So now we are going to do a decrease in every two stitches all the way around. So you're just going to decrease. That's it. So now you can take your stitch marker off. We don't need it anymore. And what you want to do is you're going to go through these two holes right here. You're not going in one stitch. You're going in two. But it's like sideways. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and you're going to do a slip stitch. Just like that. Now you're going to go into the next two. Like that. And do a slip stitch. You're going to do that all the way around. So it's basically closing it up. So now it's pretty much all closed up. And now you want to chain seven. So now you want to go to the opposite side, pick a stitch, any stitch you want, and slip stitch right there. So now you have this loop. You want to chain one. Cut off a pretty long tail, but not too long. And make a knot. I'm going to be using a needle for this part, but if you do not have a needle, you can use a hook. You can just put it in a random spot and loop it around the hook and pull it all the way through. Just like that. Now that I have the yarn on the needle, I'm just going to put it through a hole and pull it out from another side. And then we cut it. So now you're going to take about this long of whatever color yarn you want. Put it through the loop and just tie it on. Just like that. Now I'm going to cut these off, not all the way, but about right there. And there you have your ornament. I hope you liked this video and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay creative. Bye.